Hi Virgo, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your um, peek at your partner spread, okay? So whether you're single or in a relationship or just wondering what's going on with the person that you're thinking about most, I am going to tap into their energy. However, um, Taurus, uh, Taurus, sorry, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements, all right? You could be dealing with a Taurus, or you have a lot of Taurus placements in your chart. Um, if I happen to say he or she describing a picture on a card, there's no gender in tarot, so place it as you may. Also, Valentine's Day giveaway has ended. Congratulations to the winners, and thank you so much for entering. If you have, um, I will be holding another contest. I will be um, announcing that this week, so stay tuned. If you would like to check out your Valentine's Day bonus readings, there's two for each sign. You can go into my playlist and check those out there. Okay, let's get into your reading. All right, so what's going on here? Also, stick with me till the end. I'm going to go from Aries to Pisces and do each zodiac sign, all right, that you're, you could be dealing with. All right, so past life relationship, you've known each other before. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you at the bottom of the deck. All right, so... Um, this could be a past life soulmate connection here that you're dealing with, all right? It's saying give it a chance, but pay attention to red flags. There could be possibly like um, triggers or mirroring going on a little bit here, or something could bring up something from the past regarding like childhood, family, something like that, okay? So let's dig in here and see overall energy for your person, Virgo. All right. This person sees a forever future with you, possibly building a family, moving in together, maybe getting married, higher level of commitment stuff here. They feel like you are a good investment, um, that there is value in this connection, okay? So your person's definitely feeling the love here in this connection. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. Virgo's person. What's going on with Virgo's person in love? Okay. There could have been some kind of betrayal that happened. Doesn't necessarily mean you. It could have been something from this person's past where they feel stabbed in the back, some kind of betrayal, possibly regarding a family issue here um you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sag um but i feel like your person is yeah it's like maybe you stepped out or they stepped out on the connection if you were in a committed relationship um, maybe one of you stepped out on the connection all right had a passionate new beginning with someone else and they're feeling very like hurt over that feel free to reverse things okay it is a general read i am trying to narrow into your person but yeah it could have been like a third party situation or something and it doesn't necessarily mean you it could have been from someone and now they're coming in towards you with that past baggage um which maybe pay attention to those red flags okay something let's keep digging all right how does this person feel about you how do they genuinely feel towards Virgo? It's like they were trying to get victory and success or someone was getting too much attention from other people. Um, getting another thing too. Um, this person could find you very sexy, attractive, flirtatious. They could see that you get a lot of attention, um, but they feel very passionately about you and maybe that bothers them, hurts them. Ten of Swords I take really like as a serious card, like definitely pain of some sort, okay? Um, they feel like possibly you're quiet, you pulled back, you're trying to heal. Maybe they, they did this to you, okay? So they're feeling like you have pulled back and you're trying to heal from something. Um, yeah, they feel like you're stuck. That devil could have been some toxic energy. You could be ignoring this person, not communicating with them. They feel like you are a stable option, okay? I 
don't mean option, like opportunity is the better word. A stable opportunity here. What else do they feel? What else do they feel towards Virgo? There could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be. They could feel like you're keeping secrets or you're being very, very guarded here. All right. Could be an air sign that got between you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Could be. Wow. Let me keep going. There could be other people involved here, but let me keep going. Um, so they feel like you're being very guarded, um, very stuck, trapped, healing, taking a break. They could feel like you're you're being secretive or maybe you found out some secrets about this person please take this how it resonates okay let's see what was the blockage or external influence here someone was being a player <laughs> someone was being a player third party situation we have sagittarius energy here So yeah, someone was juggling. Yeah, there was no stability because someone was juggling. You could be married to this person and they stepped out of this connection, okay? Because that fam happy family card and door to value, it's like they, maybe they put you in a third party situation, stepped out. Yeah, look, like they were keeping options open. This could be a marriage, you guys. That's possibly coming to an end. Yeah, there's some kind of burden. Someone's blocked off emotionally. Someone caused the burden here. Making a bad decision, I feel like. Someone made a bad decision and screwed something really good up. Or weren't they weren't following like their guidance, their intuition. Yeah, they like acted on impulse and did something really dumb. And it created pain, burden, regarding a family situation. I have two cards of family here. There's definitely juggling, third party inter interference. Hmm. All right, what is this person's hopes for the outcome? Hopes for the outcome for Virgo. Hopes for the outcome. They're hoping for some kind of an apology or making an apology over secrets, possibly regarding an Aries. So that's here twice now, Aries. Um, someone could have maybe potentially like hooked up with their boss for some of you, not all, or they are a boss and hooked up with an employee for some, not everyone, but I feel like this person for their hopes for the outcome is to have some kind of heart to heart, to offer some kind of an apology regarding secrets that they've kept. It's like they, they're hoping to like boss up. And take like control of the situation, take control of their actions, what they've done. Yeah, it's like they want to reconcile. This person wants to reconcile. There's a lot of cards here. After some clarity, 
introspection, like taking that time. They could feel like you're blocking them. They don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. Hmm. They don't, it's like they don't want to be left out in the cold or be single anymore. Like they're hoping that you'll take them back, that you'll forgive them. They're wanting forgiveness. They're going to wait. Yeah, look. Capricorn, devil, could have been toxic or some toxicity or something. But this person, they're willing to wait for you because you make them happy. You are their son, okay? Could have been a family dynamic and they, they, they made a huge mistake. Let's see, what would this person like to say to Virgo? What would they like to say to Virgo? What do they want to say to you? They don't know what to say. <laughs> I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. What else? It's easier being with someone from my world. It's like they were, they screwed up. They were taking an easy way out. Maybe if it was a family dynamic or something, it's like they messed up. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm sorry. They want to apologize. They want to apologize. Can I get, what else? Closing clarifying messages. Sorry, I just breathed wrong. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. <clears throat> that could be you. You could be like, no, not giving a second chance. They want it, though. That's what they're hoping for. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternal um, completion, union. Yeah, there was some kind of higher level of commitment here. Clock, need time, takes time, time and cycles, time to heal. So I feel like you're healing from something here. All right, you guys, there's some kind of higher level of commitment that got completely, like, screwed up. Someone screwed it up. So you have free will. Use your best judgment here. All right, if you were dealing with an Aries, Virgo to Aries. <sighs> Aries has pulled back their energy trying to gain clarity. There could have been unequal give and take, no reciprocity. Maybe somebody was giving to two. All right, Taurus dealing with Virgo. Or Virgo dealing with Taurus, I should say. There could have been secrets here. Yeah, burden, secrets. Uh, Taurus wants a reconciliation, though. All right. Uh, Gemini. Gemini. Uh, Gemini could have been a very toxic connection regarding stability and love. There could have been a lot of other people involved here, possibly a player. All right. Cancer. Cancer wants reconciliation. They feel like you are a stable person. Okay. Leo. Uh, Leo could be trying to make a love offer, but you're ignoring it or vice versa. Okay. You could be making a love offer to them and they're ignoring it. Feel free to switch that one. Virgo. Uh, Virgo could 
be waiting. Virgo could have put you in a third party situation for some, but other than that, it's like they're waiting to work with you, communicate with you because yeah, they're trying to manifest you. You're their son. You make them happy and there's a lot of stability there. So if you're dealing with another Virgo, um, they want, they want it to work. Okay. Libra. Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra. Uh, could be an age difference with Libra, but there's a lot of passion there. Okay. They may want to like new passionate type thing okay a young passionate connection scorpio scorpio sees you as um stability a wish come true wish fulfillment um i feel like they want to take it to the next level of commitment sagittarius if you're dealing with a sagittarius sagittarius is having a lot of anxiety over this there was some kind of a tower moment possibly another fire sign or they caused some kind of a tower moment and now they're stuck in their head um they could be trying to gain some clarity or blocking out any kind of like communication capricorn capricorn a lot of emotions with Capricorn, but they may not be expressing it fully. Um, they feel very passionate about you. You, they. <laughs> Capricorn could be single, has a lot of emotions for you. You could be getting some communication, passionate communication, because they feel like you are a soulmate. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius is having high anxiety, sleepless nights, stressed out. Possibly from a tower moment or juggling. All right, Pisces. You're dealing with a Pisces. Could be an age difference with the Pisces, or this is a brand new connection, but they do ultimately have a lot of passion for you and see you as a wish fulfillment emotionally. All right, Virgo. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, information's in the description box. And until next time, love and light. Take care.